So if uh, everybody in the world will speak a single language, do you think there will be less conflict? My God. I wish we could get some data on this because we must be able to get some data on this. But you know what? My intuition is that it would be exactly the opposite. Okay? And it's an intuition. An intuition. Let me explain. If you look at the amount of disputes, arguments, and violent uh, discussion that sometimes draw to physical and violence within the population that speak a given language, and violence that occurs between different people who speak different languages, I think it's going to be very easy to draw. I don't know the data, and we can look at it in different scenarios, different population, different contexts, and historically as well. But I'm going to tell you this. It's very unlikely that the violent conflict occur more often between people who speak different languages than within, for the simple reason that the people who speak different languages will have to figure out to communicate in a difficult way, they have to check what people mean. They'll have to uh, spend a lot of time interpreting, reconsidering, exchanging. And that actually will calm them down before they could get violent. Or it will oblige them to negotiate their way through because they need to agree on what they are talking about. But for people who speak the same language, there's no need to translate anything. There's no need for, for negotiations or assuring that people are understood well. If they seem to misunderstand, it's because they didn't listen and you can hit them. And I think that for me, intuitively, people who speak the, most, the same language are far more likely to engage in violence and conflict than people who speak different languages. And if you look around, you know, it's very rare. Of course, there's wars, but wars is different. It's a cultural thing. It's about one nation trying to take over another nation. But when people are mingled and there's two languages spoken, these communities are far more stable, in my opinion, than people who are from the same community with the same language. So my answer is definitely not a good idea. And it's not just a disservice for culture and, and knowledge, it's a disservice for also stability of a society and well-being. We asked all our guests this same question. If everyone in the world were to speak a single language, do you think there would be less conflict? It is certainly controversial in political, social and linguistic studies. It sounds like an idealistic fairy tale to some, while to others became a for motivation to invent new languages. Considering the many narratives surrounding the question, we hope that our experts could lead us to a more singular answer. So would a single global language help prevent conflict? Some of our experts had positive answers. Anthony, for example, had a clear yes. Tom didn't want to go too far in the future. And for now, he said that... I, I think there will be less conflict initially. But most answered with a clear no. As you will see in the next minutes, they all narrowed it down to micro situations, where countries, groups, or almost entire continents used the same language. This could be due to the fact that at no point in history on planet Earth, everybody had a common official language across their respective countries. Probably, that's why Tomasz answered with... No, because, because uh, conflict is not dependent on language. Conflict uh, is uh, dependent uh, on certain power e and economic interests, yeah? Look. The English speak the one language and the Americans speak the one language. And until 1817, they were leading a long series of wars. And the English even uh, burned the White House in 1816, if I'm not mistaken. So don't believe in, in such fables. You have one language, so there is no conflict. So how come that husband and wife speaking the same language have conflictual situation? Absolutely not. Um... The political situation in the United States suggests that a common language has uh, absolutely no bearing on conflict or uh, differences of opinion. So um, that's, a, that's a fallacy, the monolingual fallacy, we call that. Mm -hmm.